Hi Pisces, welcome to your Love Connection reading for November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, personal readings, social media, decks I'm using, tons of stuff there. Please do go check that out, be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for all your support. New subscribers, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you, thank you. Those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation to the channel is very much appreciated. So thank you for all your support and being a part of the channel's growth, helping me to get the messages out to the people that need to hear them. And thank you for being a part of that. And thank you, thank you so much. Okay, Pisces, love connection for November. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall, happy November. Okay, Pisces, this can be any type of connection you have in mind right now, whether it's about an ex, a partner, a, you know, a, if you're married, um, if you're dating, if you like somebody, you think they like you, has to be actual connection of some kind. Um, they have to at least know who you are, be aware of who you are. All right, so if you're single, I do offer a singles reading, and I do that monthly. I just started that, so you may want to watch that one. All right, so Pisces. Let's see what's going on for Pisces Love Connection for... November. This is a zodiac oracle, so we can get sign, element, planet. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. Sort of like a little extra bonus. So, what could some Pisceans be dealing with in November? Love connection, spirit, please. Can we have one card for Pisces, please? Just one card. Thank you so much for Pisces. I'm gonna take that one. Let's see what we got for you, Pisces. Fire. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, a Leo, a Sag, or an Aries. Or they could have it somewhere in their chart, or you could have it in their chart, or it could just be the energy of fire, which is a very um, passionate, um, go-getting type of energy of just going what, going after what you want with a lot of drive and ambition. So having that fiery energy. So it could be a very passionate connection. If you're not dealing with the fire sign, it could be moving forward quickly with that fire energy. A lot of, you know, fire, passion, desire kind of energy going forward very quickly. A lot of um, drive and ambition type of energy also. All right, I don't know, we'll see. So what I wanna do here first is get an overall love connection energy between you and your person. What is the overall love connection energy between Pisces and their person, whoever they're thinking about for the month of November spirit, please? Whoa, coming on the floor. Okay, hold on. All right. So this is the back of the card. So we have trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept this current situation, it will automatically transform. So. This is talking about having just trust in the divine energy, trust in the universe, trust in the connection, trust yourself, trust this person, just trust that whatever will be will be in this connection, whatever it is for you, and let it just unfold naturally. All right, so let's see, let's get, so Pisces, what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna get one for your person, and for you, this is you. I'm going to get one for you, how you feel about your person and the connection. And then I'll get one for them and how they feel about you and the connection. If at any time you feel like the roles are reversed, any time throughout the reading, you flip, flop, switch the energies however you see fit, any point during the reading, only take what resonates, throw away what doesn't. It's a general reading for everybody. It's not a personal reading, so please remember that. All right, so not every part of every reading will be for everybody. So let's see. And if it does, that's great. All right, there may be one little message in here for you, or it could be half of it, a quarter of it, a third of it, um, whatever here. All right, so let's get one for your person. All right, so Pisces, let's see how you were feeling about your person in the connection. And I knew this was the Twin Flame card, so Twin Flames. Your passion ignites, and that's the fire with the passion there. So I definitely felt that um, you're feeling like this is your person, your soulmate, possibly Twin Flame. If you know what a twin flame is, if you don't, then you can use the word soulmate. A twin flame is an automatic soulmate. 
not all soulmates are twin flames. So, and twin flame is some believe it, some don't. So it's on your belief system and how you believe on what the twin flame energy is. It's mostly an energy. All right, so let's see how your person is viewing you in the connection. We have this card, which is time. You are trying too hard, give it time. So, so I feel like you really want this because you've got the flames here. So whether it's not the twin flames or just the flames coming into uh, play here about all this passion and desire, I feel like you want to move forward very quickly, but the universe is trying to tell you just to let it transform naturally in your person here. It's just saying time, don't rush so much that you're trying too hard. So I think you're trying too hard, Pisces, and this connection to move it forward quickly, that passion drive and ambition there with that fire energy. Let's see, the bottom of the deck. Well, I guess I'm going to take these two. We have don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only being true to yourself that you can be true to others. And then we have this card here, butterflies, transformation. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. And this card here says healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed at this very moment. So something may be being healed between you and your person. Um, or you or them or together here. But something needs time. Something needs trust and let it, letting it go uh, naturally. And I feel like you may be trying really hard to move this forward in some way. But you already know the answer. Just to look deep within yourself. And don't make decisions here based on what you think you should do. And just be true to yourself, true to others, true to this person. Just give it time. Let, I feel like a person just wants to like, like go with the flow and let it unfold naturally. And just like give it time. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's clarify Pisces. Let's clarify Pisces. Pisces, Pisces. What's going on with Pisces in this connection for November? All right, let's clarify Twin Flames on how you're feeling about your person in the connection. Can we clarify Page, page of Swords here? Air Energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, doesn't have to be. Maybe you have it in your chart. So this is about communication. Um, you know, it can be truthful communication. It can be spying on each other, keeping tabs on this person um, kind of energy also. So you may be watching this person, you know, maybe because <laughs> I think they're at a slower pace than you and maybe you're watching them online, see what they're doing. You're keeping tabs on them. You know, you want clarity on all every move they make, I feel. I don't know where that's coming from. It's like you want clarity on everything they're doing, every move they make. It's like you want to know at all times what they're doing. All right, so let's get one for your person. Why do they have time here with this connection? Temperance. So it could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. So in this is healing energy, balancing energy, having faith, hope, optimism, um, being divinely guided. This is about reuniting sometimes also and having patience. So your person wants you to have patience just to give it time. Healing energy. So, yeah, I feel like you're being too, like, I don't want to say controlling, but maybe you're hovering, hovering over them, like, way too much. And they're just trying to remain balanced and in tune and in touch. And they just want, you know, they just want time. They just want it to unfold naturally. And they want you to just to have trust in the whole process. And you're just like, like constantly watching everything, I feel. All right, so let's clarify the page of swords for your energy. The magician, yeah. <laughs> I'm not surprised here with the magician. This is a new beginning, manifesting a brand new beginning. It's like you want it to happen already. It's like, I just want it to happen already. Like, I just want to manifest this new beginning with this person, like, already. So the magician can be Gemini Virgo, doesn't have to be. 
It's like you're watching them like, come on already, you know, let's just go here in this new beginning. <laughs> All right, so let's see what your person has. Justice, so my stomach's growling. I hope you can't hear that. <laughs> Libra energy here with justice. So this can speak of legal matters, court matters, doesn't have to be. This is, can be just be bringing uh, justice into the situation with clear communication and balancing out the scales. So justice is about balance, bringing balance in some way, and so is intemperance. So they're in an energy of, yes, balance, justice, healing kind of energy, but just they just want you to give it time. Just give it time. And you're just like too eager to go and you're constantly watching them. And they just want you to trust. So let's see what the actual situation, the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius again, connected to you. All right, let's get two more, two more, two more. Page of Wands and the Devil Energy. Ooh. All right, so Sag Energy again with the Wheel of Fortune, Fate, Destiny, uh, Divine Timing, something meant to be going in your favor, things going in a better direction. This is fate and destiny, something meant to be. It's like you know this is meant to be and you just want it to move forward already. The Wheel of Fortune here moves things forward in a better direction. Something meant to happen, divine energy here. And it's like you know this new beginning. You know, you know, as much as you're hovering over this person, seeing it for what it is, um, you know, the wheel here, you know this is all going to move forward, but you want it very quickly and I feel like they just want space time patience while things get balanced out maybe they are telling you to balance out your energy you know you need to balance out your energy because we have the devil connected to them which is Capricorn energy it doesn't have to be so that's like a toxic energy it's also feeling bound to somebody so maybe you know they don't like that energy from you of being like constantly like on their ass maybe like always watching them and like wanting things just to move forward so quickly it's like toxic energy to them that can also speak of addictions um, of some kind or something maybe someone does too much of that affects them and the people around them so they could be healing over something uh, that's a toxic energy to them and they're asking you for time while they heal they heal this energy because connecting the two of you is the page of wands energy. So that's, you know, a mess, good news coming in. This is passionate communication, a passionate offer, exciting offer. So there's a passionate offer coming in between the two of you. So I feel like that will come in, but you need to give it divine time here while they either recover from toxic issues that they're recovering from either um, personally or some kind of energy within them, around them. Or something like that I think they're healing from that and they just want you to trust trust in everything that everything will go in the right direction but just give them time patience and healing as much as you watch them and want it to go forward very quickly it's all about divine time and patience healing so okay so because we got healing there um, all right so let's clarify this whole situation let's get a couple more two of cups so yep <laughs> soulmate energy two people coming together as one cancer scorpio pisces this is your energy over here so you know you know this is soulmate twin flame union that it's meant to be it's divine energy here bringing it together it's like you just want it already but for some reason they're they're more in a healing energy they just need time i don't know either healing maybe they're getting over something or healing toxic energies, addiction, something like that. So let's get one, one for their energy, the Knight of Wands. So now moving forward with drive, ambition, passion, go-getting kind of energy. This can be in and out player kind of energy, but I'm not really getting that. I feel like once they heal, get over what they need to get over, they will move towards you with a lot of drive, ambition, and passion with the message here of good news, something coming in. But there's something toxic here that they're uh, trying to balance and heal from. But they will serve justice in this connection by coming forward to you 
with this good news and communication. And you know the soulmate union is coming. It's something meant to be. The divine will bring it in. All right, so let's see what your advice is, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. So if they're not a fire sign, I mean, I do have two cards of Sagittarius here, but I do have um, Gemini, Virgo, Libra, Capricorn, Leo, Aries, along with the Sag energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, so let's see what your advice is, Pisces. So we have the Emperor and the Four of Swords. So the Emperor here, Aries energy now, doesn't have to be, takes control, takes charge, the ruler, um, taking charge of the situation here. But you got the Four of Swords energy here, which is an energy, so this is like two conflicting energies. So this is somebody who moves ahead, goes after what they want, is a charge, takes charge, um, ruler kind of energy, a domineering kind of energy. But then you got the Four of Swords here, air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, of holding back, retreating, thinking, contemplating, healing kind of energy. So, and that's coming in on their side over here. So that's definitely a healing energy. They're healing and contemplating thinking over everything. And you just want to take control, take the lead, and just move it forward. So your energy is, advice is, as much as you want to take control, take the lead, move it forward, is let them heal, rest, rejuvenate, recuperate from whatever it is they are doing here. Because they will come forward eventually. You need to let them heal. You know, take control of yourself. Control yourself. And let them heal and do that inner journey work that they need to do here with the Four of Swords energy. So what else do we have for this Nine of Cups? So there will be wish fulfillment. That's your energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There will be happiness and joy, dreams coming true, and wish fulfillment with this soulmate union. So it's just to, you know, you need to let them do what they got to do here. And just control your energy with the Emperor energy. And the Ace of Pentacles, right. So they will come forward with an offer here with the Ace of Pentacles, a brand new beginning. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be, though. A stable new beginning. They'll finally come forward, offer, you know, passion, excitement, good news. But it will be, they'll come forward very passionately, but they'll also want to extend out divinely guided energy here with the Pentacle. Building long term, brand new beginning, fulfillment, abundance building on a firm foundation for the long term. Pentacles are long term. So they'll come in and then they'll definitely want to build long term with you for this brand new beginning. That pentacle energy. It could even be an engagement. It could be a um, commitment. Something here with the pentacle. All right. So let's see what your possible outcome is with this person. Pisces. We got the five of swords energy. Hmm. This is... Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, this is an energy of like a very ego-driven energy, selfish energy, getting ahead, getting ahead at all means, all costs, and you don't care how you do it. Hmm. I don't know. I don't like that energy. So let's see. Let's see. Why is the Five of Swords here for the outcome for you, Pisces, with this energy? Why is the Five of Swords here for Pisces? The star. There's that healing energy, Aquarius energy, faith, hope, optimism, divinely guided energy from above, healing, something meant to be, wishes and dreams coming true. And you know that because you almost see like the uh, chakra on the top of your head lit up or your third eye lit up. So what else? What else? The King of Pentacles, right? So... Wow, so they will come forward in this King of Pentacle energy with that offer of the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here. So yeah, they got that big pentacle. They're finally going to know what they want to do and they want to come forward and offer a long-term relationship of some kind here. 
I'm still feeling this energy of like, you just want to rush it forward by any means. You really don't care. It's just like, you just want it now. But again, it's telling you for the outcome to let them heal. Let them heal. Wishes and dreams will come true. Keep that faith, hope, and optimism that this is divinely guided with the star energy. And let them come forward to you, which they will, with this stable offer for the long term. Long term offer. It will come in. Just give it time. Don't get in the Five of Swords energy of just trying to manipulate the situation quicker than it's supposed to be. Because you may try to do that as the outcome here. Maybe you need to heal yourself in this energy also. And let them come forward to you. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So, yep, the High Priestess. So this is like, you know, Cancer Pisces here anyway. And you know what kind of connection this is. But this is an energy of keeping to yourself. So definitely here. You know what it is. You know what kind of connection it is. As much as you want to move it forward, this is also telling you not to just keep to yourself, stay to yourself, and kind of keep keep quiet for a while. Just pray, meditate, send him, send them healing energy. That's what I'm getting with this too. Send them healing vibrations, healing energy, positive energy. As you just patiently wait for them, because they will see they will come forward with an offer of love here, apology, offer of love, communication, love and emotions. As sad, hurt as you may feel lonely you know they 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 know you're waiting so they'll come forward you know laying down all the burdens no longer serving them all those heavy burdens and making decisions and plans moving forward yeah seven of energy is kind of like can be deceit self-deceit sneaking away so i feel like they'll they will you see he's got the sword of like truth in his hand here. As much as they've been holding back all these swords here, they will re reveal to you what they've been hiding or what they've been going through. And you see two swords there down in the ground. Like that's the two of you stabilizing the situation because you will have the Ten of Pentacles. Long-term commitment here, happy home and family, legacy of the family, uh, sharing everything together, this the marriage card. And leaving all the past deceitful energy behind. And making plans for the future. Laying all the burdens down. As much as you feel sad and lonely at the time, they will come forward with an offer of love. It's just telling you to wait patiently. Send them healing vibrations as much as you can. All right, so let's get some extra messages here for you Pisces. Pisces, if you do like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month. I do a love connection reading. I do a singles reading. Who's coming towards you? How, when, where? What kind of connection will it be? I do messages from your spirit guides, what you need to know. And I do a general reading. So if you're interested in all that, please do subscribe and you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you, thank you. All right, let's get some extra messages for you in this connection. What are the extra messages, guidance, advice for you? I feel these two. Our Lady of the Rose Crown, which is number 40, which is four, which is all about stability and foundation. I might have to read a little bit about that. Our Lady of the Rose Crown. Not sure what that is. And then we have Our Lady of the Abundant Garden, 30, 38, which is 11, which is always a divine number. It's half of the twin flame number, and we did have twin flames here. And then don't usually add 11, but that is two, partnership unity. So a very uh, abundant future here for the two of you with the Abundant Garden, growth, expansion, abundance in every way between the two of you. So 40, Our Lady of the Rose Crown. This is the Mother Mary deck. So the messages in here talk as if she's talking to you. So <sighs> Our Lady of the Rose Crown, you are my child and a royal divine being. I protect your spiritual deepening now as you descend further into the living divine heart and know all to be loved. As the mys mysteries reveal themselves to you now, divine rapture awaits you. I shall keep you grounded and authentic, protect, productive in the world that needs your light, even as I guide you into 
ecstatic communication with your holy nature. So, so I'm getting like the rose crown. That would be like the crown on the top. I think that's the, is that the seventh chakra, the top of your head? It's being very in tune, in touch um, with your intuition, divine energy, your gut, your knowing, having all that growth and spiritual uh growth and expansion in the spiritual realm, which a twin flame connection can be very spiritual. And you do have abundant abundance here. So I do feel like there'll be a very spiritual connection also, a lot of growth and abundance spiritually between the two of you. Or it could be just you uh, moving forward in this connection. And I do see the dove here with peace and harmony between the two of you eventually coming in here. Oh, let's see, what else do we have here? We have Our Lady of Peaceful Change, 12, which is 3, which is working together, collaborating, uh, you know, uh, reconnecting, rejoicing, celebrating, you know, reunion. So I do feel like there will be peaceful change in this connection, be very, a lot of abundance and growth, coming back together, working things out, being enlightened and moving on uh, spiritually. And on the bottom of the deck here, we have Our Lady of Radiant Grace, 33. Again, three is about, you know, coming together, uh, celebrating, rejoicing, reuniting, working together. And then six is a very peaceful, balanced number moving forward. So, you know, just be graceful in this whole situation. Be graceful to yourself, graceful to them. You know, let this whole situation unfold gracefully and just radiate your energy here in a graceful manner. And then under that, we have Our Lady of Love. So yeah, I definitely feel like there is definite love here in this situation. Six again, with that peace, harmony, and moving forward uh, in a better direction. So I definitely feel like there's love here. I just feel like they need to work out their issues, whatever they are for them. You just need to be patient and just trust, and give it time, and they will come forward with the stable, secure offer for the long term. You just need to be patient. I think they're healing from something, whether they're healing something within themselves, you know, just issues within themselves or addictions or, or over some sort of toxic energy from the past. They could have been recently divorced. And, you know, it's just telling you to give it time. And pentacles are very slow. So it may be very slow moving energy, but once it comes in together, it'll move forward quickly with this fire energy. Okay, Pisces, best of luck to you, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.